Welcome back, MTG Joe here, and today we got a spicy one. Um, this one has been making its rounds uh, across Twitter. Uh, I got the deck idea from Howling Minds, we got it from someone else, uh, but it is effectively a turn three uh, Tybalt combo. And the way we achieve it is by casting a Valky on turn two, and then you cast Release the Winds on turn three. So you exile a uh, non-line permanent you can, uh, which happens to be t uh, Valky, and then you may cast it without paying its mana cost. Because the it is a cast, you can cast either side. It's not a put into play, and it's not a blink effect. You're able to cast the Tybalt half. So you're able to achieve a turn three Tybalt this way. Um, the deck itself is a Grixis control deck, uh, a little bit more on the mid-range uh, plan, but what you're also able to do with release is blink your own adventure creatures to reset them so you can get, cast that value again. You can phase out your opponent's uh, creatures if you want uh, to keep you alive against auras. It drops everything off, which is kind of cool. Um, and then the rest of the deck, um, I've been kind of making a couple tweaks. Uh, I'm playing three release and one less fatal push for two extinction events compared to uh, Howling Mines list. Um, but you have like Saw it Coming and Behold as kind of your foretell threats, um, card advantage, counter spells. You have Thought Seize, a couple main, two more on the side, pushes, eliminates Heartless Axe to kind of disrupt. And we're playing Grixis, so you got to play Nicol Bolas, um, the, the ra Big Daddy Ravager. Uh, discards their hand, you could blink your own boluses to uh, force them to discard more, and then you could also flip it to the nickel bolus side. Um, one thing that's cool you can do as well is say you have Tybalt, they attack it, um, you can blink it like after the attacks and then just recast it on your turn, so you can kind of incentivize bad attacks out of them. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, with the main deck, the sideboard, I've been trying out a couple things. Um, just a lot of hand hate versus the control decks, some cages where necessary. Um, we don't really play with our, like, bringing stuff back from the graveyard, which is good. Um, we have negates versus the control matchups, which is vengeance. There's a lot more elves running around. Uh, also hits goblins as well. Uh, a bedevil just as catch all removal, good in a variety of matchups. Some languishes in the side, and then three ley line of the voids versus any graveyard combo. Played two games with this, 2 and 0. Oh, we're in like the mid 500s on Mythic Ladder. So let's give it a shot. See how many people we can Tybalt out of games. This deck's been like, I watched a lot of Howling Minds play it, and then after a couple games myself, it is a very fun deck to play. May not be tier 1, um, may not be the most optimized version, but I can say it is fun. Uh, Grixis is always kind of that color pairing that never seems to come together. But if it can, we'll see. The one card that's been kind of so-so is Bone Crusher Giant in this list. I find like a lot of threats you want three damage. It may be more advantageous to play like a Braid's Main or um, another type of removal spell, just maybe like more Heartless Axe or something. Um, so that's something we'll try out as we play some more games with the deck to get a feel. Where are the opponents today? Um, so while we wait for an opponent, as always, if you do enjoy the content, if you can, drop a like, comment, and subscribe on the YouTube channel. If you want to know when we go live, we just broke 800 followers on Twitch. Uh, you can follow on Twitch, it's another free way. Uh, if you want to join live in uh, chat while we're playing. Is this going to be a draw situation? Hopefully not. Mega Man. This looks like a draw, which kills both our ranks. Never fun. So we are 535. Let's see what happens. Oh, we somehow went ahead. All right. Free stocks. Um. And then also, very curious, um, what is your favorite deck in Historic right now? Uh, the field seems pretty wide open. We've run into a variety of different decks. Um, but what deck are you having the most fun with right now? Let me know in the comments. All right, Depok Pock. Opponent goes first, no companion. All right, half the combo, hand seems more than playable. I think we shock 
on one because that gives me the option to keep up Brazen Bar and Bone Crusher on two. Control. Okay. I don't know if it's auras yet. It's more likely than not blue light control. Yeah. So against blue white. I mean, we got the Valky combo in hand. So if they play the tap land and just foretell this, then we can Valky. Okay, so they're opting not to. Um, let's see what they do here. I should have played the land. If I played the land, I could have Valky'd this turn. So you're trying to minimize information. So we kind of got punished there. Hey, Titans, how's it going? I caught a bit of your plow video. Giving uh, Scott's list a try. Um, so I think here we attack in So this turn because the thing is they can Teferi down tick on my Tybalt Um, I played two games with this deck. Uh, I think we're just... Brazen here. Just play this out. They've kind of wasted two Shark Typhoons at this point. So they can go to Fairy here. Oh, they just. So they're playing more conservatively. The hold's actually decent here. They're already down to 12. So we can do this. We have a couple options here. Huh. So they still have the saw it coming in hand. So that's good to know. They're probably trying to set it up with Teferi. Okay, so they flip a Scanta. Game one's probably gonna be rough. here we just keep putting out pressure if they want to counter this it's pretty decent value for us okay so they saw that coming So here I can try to dig for a land, but I don't have the blue mana needed to cast it. Um, Cause the problem is I can bone crusher. If they have a sweeper, then I feel bad that way. I think we're just doing this, trying to dig for a land. Cause 
because they have this Ascanta that's going to start generating value. Um, kind of want a blue source, to be honest, or a counter. Okay, it's actually good. I want to try to get this Teferi out of the way. Because now I get him tapped down, so with the trigger on the stack. I can tap him like fairly low, and then I can try to release this turn. Wow. That's interesting. So they just let it go. Um, here... So I can try to do it. We know they have a counter spell. I can play out Murderous Rider here. If they try to sweep, then I Valky release here. Which is probably fine value-wise. Yeah, they respect it at least. I think post board we're in a better spot. We have a lot of like shitty removal. Okay, so they still have that in hand. So I'm just gonna force the counter out of them here. Try to get this out. Because if we draw land, I just hard cast it next turn. If not, I bone crusher and then stomp their face. Okay. Oh, they might have sensor. I think we wait one more land. It's not worth playing, like dropping your seven drop for it to be censored. That's fine. And the thing I kind of like about this Grixis version is um, you're still able to kind of take a more proactive approach. Okay, we can play around sensor. I think we're just doing this. Nah. We gotta try to start laying some haymakers down. Okay. Commit's fine. We didn't lose it. Bit of a rough spot. They've gone through two sharks. Everything we play probably gets countered at this point. Ooh. Um, play this out first. They probably have another sweeper. So I don't know if I want to stagger. Polis resolves. Okay, so they discarded in our set. 
I think we just do this. There's no sense uh, playing more into it. Brazen Borrower, sure. So they can memory here. Let's get to the good part. So they opt to not memory. They got another Tef. Tef ultimate's gonna be a uh, feel bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think we're just still doing this. I know they have a counter there. Probably getting memoried sometime soon, so let's just play these out. One, two, three. Okay, so they have Veto. Okay, we got the Sock coming out. They have Veto, so we're just going to hard cast this. I can also Ravager. Okay, if they don't have some. Oh, they have the cast out. Damn it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hard cast Valky. I don't want to run it into Vito. See what's in their hand. Jesus. Okay, so we're dead. Once they get to this point of the game, it's pretty much... Yeah, double Vito. Um, I think we're passing here. You know what? I, don't like I can hard cast shark. Like we're still winning this race right now. Chip two here. Can't afford to get ultimated here. Vetoes out of their hand. We're, we're dead. I'm just trying to see if we could run a bit more off their clock. Them having double veto main hurts. No. They're gonna alt Tef. So in this matchup, bring those in, cut the, actually eliminates probably fine because it hits Narset. Can get rid of the Fatal Push and the Heartless Axe. Uh, probably the Extinction Events. Maybe keep one Heartless in. Run it like that. Hey Bubblek, how's it going? We are trying to turn three Valky. Or turn three Tybalt's. Opponents on blue-white control and decided we are not allowed to have fun. Game one is always going to be rough against them. They'll just have naturally more counter spells and Teferi. We had a couple openings there. They drew two Dovins Veto. That's a big mirror breaker in these control kind of matchups. I was hoping to prey on some of your angel buddies. Can 
we will keep this hand. So I'm going to lead on duress. Veto. Let's get rid of tough. Actually, let's just main phase this. My turn's probably going to be Bone Crusher. Because next turn I can bot seize and then put behold away. They drew the baffling end, which feels bad. I can always bounce that. Which in itself isn't great, but um I think we're getting rid of Veto here. Make it seem like we have dispute up. Hoping they weren't draw an answer just there. Just pass the turn here. They might try to go with hard cast shark. Interesting. They don't cast that there. So they behold. They're going to let that resolve. They got rid of that. I think I just want to thread out. They can cast a fairy this turn. Okay, so they hard cast shark. I'm bouncing that. So that tempos them for a turn. So they can recast hard cast shark here. So release is actually pretty decent here because it just gets rid of the token. We're probably not using it with um, with our dude Tybalt this game, plus we're already at six mana. They will be able to start just chumping us on the ground, but I have Brazen Bora I could flash in the following turn. Kill to fairy here. How long do you want to wait for? Let's get to the good. So this makes it so if they countered it, they wouldn't be able to make a token. I'm gonna hold this land for now. It has more utility in hand. Do need some sort of card advantage. A shark for three. So 
So I gotta hold off on this because it taps me out of blue mana. That's a good card. It's a good card. See if we draw a counter out here. Could be their own Brazen Borrower. Okay, that's decent. So the question is, what are the chances they kept in sweepers? Feel like they kept a couple in. Okay, I think we pass. We get blown out by a sweeper here. They flip a scanta. Perfect. So that forces that out of them. They would have done it on the bolus. Here. Our set's annoying. They have veto. Get a card out of their hand like this. They got the combo. They had it in hand. Should have probably gone for it. They had two cards in hand. Put this aside. So we only get to draw one here. They draw seven new cards. The negate's decent. But they just get to refill everything here. So I'm probably dead. I can't draw cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. YOLO, do you have a counter spell? You most likely do, but I probably lost this game, so. At this point, they hard cast Shark, they have too many cards. So that matchup is a very difficult matchup. Um, if we do see an uptick, then we need to switch our sideboard to have Shark Typhoons in the side. Um, we saw there where we had to keep some suboptimal cards. Knight of Isengard. Got a mall here. This hand's got very little action. If it's an aggro deck, we don't really have much going. All right, keep. Um, opponent goes first. Don't have red mana, so maybe we put this back. Gruel Gamer. So, don't love taking two here, but if we can screw up a Burning Tree drop, yeah. So there's a play to take the land, but I think just limiting their turn two. So we will have to Heartless Act here. So they are incentivized to playing Bone Crusher out first. So we'll let this happen. Kill that. Post board, we get a lot of sweepers, which is nice. That's actually pretty good.
Pretty good. Heartless the Bone Crusher, Fatal the Pelt Collector. To we are getting pretty low. A red source would actually be pretty good. Okay, well, brazen's not the best, but in a pinch, it will do. So we're taking four here, I think. Just got stuck on lands. We got some removal, but we took a bunch of damage from these bone crushers. This means we're not dead on board. Yeah, these saw comings aren't great here. The one thing is they didn't see that we're on red. Okay, so we're dead. I could counter that, but at this point we're pretty low to being dead. Um, so let's cut the Thoughtseize, cut these Sot Cummings, bring the Ley Lines and the Bedevil. Probably bring in Cage as well. They're going to be Collected Company deck. I think we run that. Which is Vengeance? Oh, Languish. Not the Ley Lines. I have one card to keep, so probably a Sot coming. Could play one of those. Release is fine because you can phase out one of their things and kind of screw up a combat step. Can also try to get the turn three Valky. We're gonna play to this languish. They're mulliganing, which should be advantageous to us. It's not great to like brazen borrower. We got an emote happy player. Think here, we're just foretelling. We really just want to hit our line on curve. That's actually really good. Because this lets me behold kill the Gallia. I think we just be patient with this. Clothis. That's fine. I don't think we want either of these right now. do this slows them down for a turn this way if they want to Coco they can't play Clothis and the elf I think we're okay with the elf okay we can stop drawing lands deck Probably gonna brazen borrower here. 
There's not too much in the graveyards right now. And then what I can always do is brazen, release to the winds my brazen. Okay, so they have Spellbreaker. I think we're just... So I think what we're doing here... We're phasing this out. Naturally draw Valky, of course. Let's languish here. And I think what we're gonna try to do is uh, Valky next turn. Sequencing of our cards that we've got in this game has not been great. Shit. Them hitting us for four a turn isn't great. Yeah, we're probably dead. Probably dead, but let's see what we get. Spellbreaker's decent, but our life total's pretty low. I'm probably gonna have to hard cast this. Any haste threat kills us here. Yeah. Just odd sequencing there. Not great. That was a big chunk that we dropped. That kind of shows just Valky is or um, Clothis is an issue. It's the one thing that these Grixis decks have a problem with. Sounds good. Put back the steam vents. I th think I'm willing to shock on one against an unknown opponent just to be able to have push up so that I can move the behold. Called it. I think we're I think we're just waiting this turn. Can bone crusher play out bone crusher and then play out behold. This is tempered steel. Vehicles? It's vehicles. Um, so they're short of land. This comes into play tapped. They have the Chandra. They can go veteran motorist. I think we're taking this out. So the question here, they can crew guarantee I can kill their thing. Yeah, I think we're just doing that. The heart of Kieran. Us not be, like we took a chance that turn.
So they can crew here. That also makes it five power. They can also veteran. Need to find something. Need to find something. I think we need more card advantage. We can't really play Ner Nerset. These have increasingly felt pretty bad. So I can Brazen Borrower here. So... I think we're just beholding an exile and then we'll brazen borrower. If they draw an untapped line, they go Chandra. So this has to trigger first. So we can tempo them this turn that they don't get to attack us. Next turn, we are going to see Chandra, so we're in a bit of an issue there. They just naturally draw a black blade. Yeah, we're dead here. Let's go to sideboard. Hey, Dragonite, how's it going? Um, this matchup's a little tricky. Um, I think we want the languishes still. The duress is fine. You're kind of in an awkward spot because you need both like creature and planeswalker. Um, duress to pick off the walkers is fine. Probably trim on a sock coming. I uh, probably do want the sock comings. Extinction event. Probably languish more so than event here. Thought these are fine in some numbers. Probably trim on a bone crusher. They don't really have ways to interact with release. Probably just better off with Thoughtseize. Let's do this. I think we may need to retool this. Also help if we don't have the mulligan every hand. Keep this. Um, I'm gonna put away the sight coming probably. Hand's pretty decent. Had we been able to keep everything, obviously looking for a red source here. Gonna play Valky on two. Kind of get an idea as to what's up. So they have the Bone Crusher. They go Veteran Motorist here. Probably okay with it. They could also go Blood Fast. That's fine. Okay, that's actually really good. Or at least for the time being. I think we're just doing this. I want to hit my land, especially like a red source here. This you can pay two life to draw cards. And I think um. So we can have, I think we'd switch more to Murderous Riders, uh, dude. Um, 
The issue is it hits our all our creatures. Um, it's also double red where we only have 10 red sources in the deck. So that's a consideration as well. Um, so like around the edges, there's cases like that. Hey Cody, uh, it's been pretty shit so far, to be honest. We've encountered the wrong half of variants. So we're gonna push here. We lost, it was a pretty good game against blue-white control. They just had uh, a lot of counters. Um, I'd say hitting your own Tybalt's pretty big. And also the four damage to Planeswalkers isn't guaranteed. Teferi ticks up to five. Um, I think something we can do, like even Chandra ticks up to five normally. Okay, so they're digging here. Toolcraft's fine. So we're gonna do this. Pathway Heartless. Yes, please. So here, let's just go another black source. So I'm gonna see if they block here. Just become Bone Crusher Giant. And I think we just do this. So before they can give this indestructible, before they can attack. Day for I in you, so this is an interesting line. And I th think this turn... So Bolus puts him pretty weak in the air. I think we're just gonna... Because if they have Chandra, then they minus Chandra. This allows me to attack in the air. Yeah, I think we're doing this. They can go up to six here, I'm not too concerned. They don't have an artifact, but all Smith comms will make tokens. Yeah, I think I might want to go up to two Murderous Rider. That seems like a worthwhile inclusion. So here... Think what we're doing taking this off taking this so this is to bait the block I cannot escape and then I'm just gonna black blade kill the black blade here I can foretell this, but I think I just want to hold it up, like the Mer the Heartless Act. Nothing but Gideons. I think we do this. This is seven mana to flip. Do that, just get it off the battlefield. So 
So this will get us closer to drawing. I guess that puts it so they couldn't draw a card. They need four cards from the graveyard so they can exile with that. Yeah, so maybe I should have punished them. Um, do I want Sock coming? I think I do. This seems reasonable. So I think what we do, just take this out, go face. Play this and we just kind of control the board. A battle lost, but not the war. We're in a pretty commanding spot, so there's no sense in us kind of over committing. Valky Crusher Giant. Um, I, I think it might be reasonable to bring in some negates in this matchup, actually. Since they are heavier on walkers. Got him. Got him! How's everybody in chat doing? Um, so I think I think we trim a languish. Do it like that. Do I like, I think we keep Bone Crusher over Brazen, play it up. Gotta, uh, I, I think what we want to change is we want a second Murderous Rider over Bone Crusher. Honestly, the Brazen Bars are probably what we can cut. They seem like the worst. The tempo plays not as worthwhile as just the hard kill. Half the combo in hand. Two removal spells with release the winds. Okay, so they got the turn one play this game. Let's see what's hanging out over here. Angrath, Bowmat, Thoughtseize. So they're a ways away from Angrath. They only have the one land. I think what we want to do is protect the hand. Angrath's the scariest though. They have Mortify, which I'm not too worried about. We can beat up these. Yeah, it's your go. There's cards to think about. Um. I think we do this. Fake like we have some stuff. All right, well, they didn't want to play magic, so we'll take those games. They don't want to play, that's no problem with us. Um, so I think what we want to do is tweak it a bit. Um, Release is good. These Brazen Borrowers are f okay. They're not great. Um, so let's go Murderous Rider. 
Lemonade's fine. Heartless is fine. We have the pushes. I think we go down one of these. So the question is, do I want like something like negate main? Do I want the thought seizes main? Does my mana base support me playing Chandra? No. 2, 4, 8, 10, 11 is not enough for double red consistently. I've also... F what are like Grixis? There's Tyrant Scorn, which is a decent card. Kind of tempo them out that way. I think I like the... Devil main. And just another thought sees. We have the languishes sides, we have negates. I think we want two shark typhoons in the side. Just run it like that. And that gives us one answer. Might even be right to just play two. This card's just a lot more flexible. Plus, we are already taking a bit of damage. Have the drown. Catacomb. I think in I think what we want to do is well. Just do this. Okay. So let's give this one a shot. Um, three thoughts he's main there is the idea of like thought distortion there is the consideration for something like noxious grasp I think I like that over the duress it's just a more flexible card we could bring it in against gruel as well gain some life that way so let's try this one out the other consideration is we go more controlly. Now nah, let's try this one out. Uh, blue white controls, Dovin Vetoes hurt us a bit. Um, Gruel can go a little wide. It's just our spells didn't line up, so we were doing a lot of damage to ourselves. Um, like, opponent went Clothis into Chandra, but for control, that's pretty hard to beat, I think, in most cases. Just naturally being Gruel. I think, like, overall, if you can get Valky out, you're okay. Like, a bodied sack offline. This is, like, kind of a mulligan. But we're on the play. Let's try it out. We got half the combo, right? Worst case, I just cast Nico Bolas and then cast Nico Bolas with Release the Winds to get cards out of their hand. To be honest, I've just I felt Bone Crusher has been pretty lackluster. It doesn't kill enough. We've wanted three damage a lot of times. Even something like um, Angrath's Rampage might be decent. Come on, Sukula. What you up to? Energy. So my line here is hold up stomp. probably the case because if this is colorless then I just want to put pressure on them and really I just want to hit their payoff cards did you give it a shot at all Cody just keep mauling so I uh it was I think towards the no, it was this season, like when we first started, 
I was getting like really frustrated on plat four. There was like a day or two I just I couldn't win. I was something like one in twelve or something. So I just said screw it. I'm playing Tibble's Trickery. I got the combo off like fifty percent of the time, but it was it was not fun. Like it's cool to do it like once and you kind of laugh like haha. Actually, with Behold in hand, I think I like that line, especially because we've missed lands. Because if they go Karn, then I'm kind of upset. I have Shadow's Verdict. I really don't care about that. Give me a sec. I'm just going to turn the light on. It's getting a bit dark in here. Try to hit our lions here. Snap keep. I think they wait on this shadow's verdict. If they want a shadow's verdict, my Valky, they can. If not, then I just drop the Ravager. And then I can always hold up Sock coming for the rest of the game. How's my COVID flow looking? Taking every time out possible. So my turn's actually pretty sweet here. Because they're probably going to go Monument. If they go Monument... Sick. So I'm going to exile their Monument. So, combo! Take him off Oodles of Mana. <laughs> and like this now, next turn if I draw a land, I can play Ravager and that. They don't have any of the creature lands, so we're okay. I just want to hold up counters from now on. Like, Tybalt's gonna get us there. Got him. Get him, got him good. Okay, so this matchup negates Thoughtseize, Typhoon. Heartless Axe. I think we keep a couple Fatal Push in. They're good against like the animated lands. And I'm going to keep in one Extinction Event for Ulamog. Going up to second Bedevil is going to look nice in this matchup. The nice thing, this deck can't really kill our Tybalt on turn two. So if we have the combo in hand. Keep. Permission with Bolas. Another 
No turn two ramp. Okay, so they have turn two. Could be seeing Karn. That's probably the worst card this turn. He draws. So I'm going to play this out. If they don't play anything I care about, then I'm going to Shark Typhoon. Yo. Okay. Opponent ain't messing around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we could see Ugin next turn, so. Gonna hold off on this bolus. I actually should have played this. Alright, no, we don't even have the devil anymore, so it doesn't matter. Alright, who's gonna win? A 1 1 shark? They have their clock, I have mine. What you got hanging out there? All right, you got me. Fortel coming in clutch. So they're still at 8 mana. That's fine. Thought distortion messed us up. They only have that. I'm assuming that's a one of. They can start beating down on us. I mean, we're at the state of the game where we can hard cast Valky. This is gonna be a no for me, dog. Valky one time. Valky one time. Okay, that's a card. Oh. At this junction of the game, we lose to Ulamog anyways. If we don't, then we get to flip a Nico Bolas. They're digging, so at least that one card wasn't good enough. What do you got, opponent? No Ugin? Take our L. All right. Let's not get thought distortioned. Um, I think we're running it back. Our hand was good. It's just thought distortion messes you up. Uh, this hand is reasonable. I'm going to leave the Behold in exile. Oh, now that they know my secrets. I love how they draw their like one of swamp probably. So that gives away the information I have it, but that's probably fine. So 
Stomp Bone Crusher line here, and we're just going to go into Bolus. Um, here we're going to go blue mana, since we have the black seer. So we play around Shadows Verdict and Extinction Event. They don't have enough for their bigger stuff. I have them on a two turn clock. They dump Crawling Barons. Okay, well, let's see what they're doing. They can't gain the life, I don't know. They could have seven mana available. Okay, Golos doesn't save you. GG's. I think this configuration is probably better. So I think we ended up going, how'd we do? I think this variation is probably best. Um, there is consideration if we want. So against like control, we can pivot and go with like a more aggressive stance, um, get under them a bit, but they're probably keeping in some number of Removal spells. We could look to add a braid into the deck somewhere. I think we're overall okay. The one thing is we do kind of struggle a bit with card advantage. So that is something that we might want to look to add in. How am I with the deck? Let's see what our rating is. I think we're like three and two, four and two. So against like non-blue white, we're probably okay. There is like the option as well. We can play something like Thought Erasure. Um, that helps fix our, like what's happening in our board. But you kind of have to walk this line. Um, so this is something to continue to explore. It maybe is we don't play Bone Crusher Giants and then instead go like two Maze Mines Tomes. Even like Search for a Scanta could be decent or even Croxa perhaps as another way to kind of play around with it. Um, been somewhat unimpressed with Bone Crusher. Because it doesn't hit Angel stuff, which is a big part of the meta right now. It doesn't hit most of Gruul's creatures once they kind of scale up. They also go pretty wide. Um, this interaction's good. Volus is powerful threat. I think we keep it like this for now. I did want to try a best of one version of this deck you can do a game of best of one i just want to tweak it so best of one meta is um, a bit different than what you're used to necessarily it's heavier on creature based decks 
Um, so having access to eight sweepers is good. I go to Thoughtseize. Um, probably trim down that to three. Three counters. Run it like this. May even go two counters. Question is, do we want Tome or do we want Escanta? I think we want Escanta. Let's try a game of best of one, see how it plays out. Then I'm going to eat some dinner. I'm hungry. It's 6.30 here. And is super reasonable. So depending on how they play this out, if they have an aggressive start, I can do this on one. I still think I want to do this on one. My turns are pretty telegraphed at this point. Ooh, that's interesting. Um, you just life gain? Te technically gave him an extra life there. Okay, so languish is nice here. This might be just more life gain, Coco. Valkyrie, Valkyrie. So see what their turn looks like. If I can hit the Languish, I prefer to do that route. So Resplendent puts them to 26. So we'll just Languish here. I don't need to shock myself. Three for one. Languish has a smaller window when it's useful. Um, I think here... Okay, so one of those cards in hand is likely Coco. I think I like doing this this turn. Kill this and then I can bolus and then play that as well. Okay. And speaker, that's fine. Because now kill this we just need that dead I think we're still doing this it lets me next turn transform and then I'm just like grinding him at a card advantage not too concerned about youthful here I guess I could hold them back from attacking which isn't terrible because I do this Keep them off 27, just so they don't get the Valkyrie. I think we just try to pivot here. Make it seem like we have something if they don't, if they're just keeping this as their board. Glass pool. I'm probably okay killing that. Because I'm just getting a Soul Warden's pretty low value. And like now I can Nico Bolas. There's the option of waiting one more turn. Ah.
We're playing Grixis. Let's Nicol Bolas. Put a target creature or... So I can take Righteous here. I think we're just getting cards. Languish is great here. So even if they hit like um, Coco, sick. Easy game. This might actually be better suited for best of one. It's pretty easy to tailor the deck. Like you have enough um, removal in it, I think. Like you still have the interaction for control. You may even want, I think Ascanth is reasonable um, just for like the grindier games as a mana sink, but you have like the ways to find your combo. You have four sweepers against like elves. This blows up stuff. Even this can be a cage if you want. So there's options to the deck as well. Um, so. I'm going to wrap this one up and go get some dinner. Let's see who's currently on Twitch. can drop a raid. Let's go check out what's Danny playing. Some control. Uh, da, 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 da. Howling Minds is playing a continuing with the content. Appreciate everyone stopping by as always. We'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching and have a great one.